step back to the TV landscape of the late 1950s and you'd likely find yourself caught in the dust, stirred up by the iconic series that took viewers on an unforgettable journey across the American frontier. Wagon Train, a show that premiered in the latter half of the decade, brought to life the trials and triumphs of a diverse group of travelers as they navigated the challenges of the untamed West. Its narrative prowess and captivating storytelling quickly etched an indelible mark on television history. The enduring appeal of Wagon Train lies not just in its portrayal of the raw essence of pioneering, but also in its ability to capture the human spirit in adversity. It resonated then and continues to resonate today, echoing themes of unity, resilience, and the pursuit of a brighter tomorrow. Its timeless qualities have cemented it as a benchmark in the annals of TV entertainment. For many, this series sparks a flicker of nostalgia for an era long past or ignites a fascination with a period unexplored. It's a testament to the show's lasting impact that certain scenes or moments remain imprinted in the minds of viewers, evoking a spectrum of emotions and reflections on life's journey. What scene left an indelible impression on you? Is there a moment from this series that still resonates, a fragment of storytelling that lingers in your memory? We're eager to hear your stories and cherished memories related to this classic series. Share your experiences in the comments below and be part of the ongoing legacy of this beloved show. In the expansive landscape of classic television, Wagon Train emerged as an iconic series that captured the imagination of audiences during its run from the late 1950s through the early 1960s. Debuting in 1957, this Western drama followed the arduous journeys of a group of diverse travelers navigating the challenges of the frontier. Its premise centered around the perilous cross-country expeditions aboard a wagon train, showcasing the struggles, triumphs, and human stories woven within the fabric of the American West. At its core, Wagon Train was as much about the characters as it was about the wild landscapes they traversed. The show's narrative pulse beat through the leadership of trail master Major Seth Adams, portrayed by Ward Bond, whose presence commanded both respect and guidance throughout their journeys. His counterpart, the witty and resourceful assistant trail master, Flint McCullough, played by Robert Horton, added depth to the dynamics of the group. Alongside them, a diverse ensemble of passengers contributed their own stories and arcs, creating a rich tapestry of human experiences against the backdrop of the untamed frontier. What set Wagon Train apart was its episodic structure that ingeniously fused standalone stories within the overarching theme of a perilous trek across uncharted territory. Each episode brought forth new challenges, encounters, and moral dilemmas, underscoring the resilience and fortitude of the human spirit. The series didn't merely romanticize the West, it delved into the complexities of human nature, exploring themes of courage, morality, and the pursuit of a better future. The show's impact on popular culture was profound, solidifying its place as a classic in the Western genre. Its exploration of character-driven narratives against the panoramic backdrop of the American frontier left an indelible mark on television storytelling. Wagon Train not only entertained, but also reflected the aspirations and challenges of a nation forging its identity amidst the rugged landscapes of the West. As the wagon wheels rolled, Wagon Train carved its legacy, etching tales of adventure, camaraderie, and the unyielding human spirit into the annals of television history, leaving a lasting impression on audiences for generations to come. The TV series Wagon Train, born from the inspiration of the film Wagon Master, launched in 1957 featuring Ward Bond and Robert Horton. Interestingly, the relationship between Bond and Horton off-screen was strained, marked by alleged rumors and tensions. Despite this, their on-screen chemistry added depth to the show. An intriguing aspect surfaced in the initial season regarding Charlie Wooster's medical knowledge, a trait that faded away as subsequent seasons unfolded. The series, set against the backdrop of frontier journeys, encapsulated the struggles and triumphs of diverse travelers navigating the American West. Ultimately, despite backstage tensions, the show's on-screen dynamics and storytelling left an enduring mark on television history, reflecting the resilience of the human spirit in untamed landscapes. The theme song for TVS show was adapted from Jerome Mora's score in the film The Jayhawkers. This iconic tune, woven into the series from 1959 to 1960, when Moras composed for several episodes, remains one of the most recognizable themes in American TV westerns. Its incorporation into the show's fabric heightened the series' appeal, resonating with audiences and adding depth to the narrative. 
The seamless transition of this musical essence from film to television underscored the cohesive storytelling of the show, creating an enduring connection with its viewers. This musical element became an integral part of the series' identity, embodying the essence of the American frontier spirit and leaving an indelible mark on television history. Amidst the making of the series, a peculiar inconsistency arose regarding the character Charles Wooster. Depictions of Wooster's literacy swayed over the seasons, prompting a contrasting portrayal. In one instance, Bill Hawks admonished Wooster for glancing at a book despite being unable to read. Yet, in another episode, Wooster not only conversed on literary works, but also shared a self-made scrapbook, revealing a surprising depth of literary interest and documentation. This fluctuation in Wooster's literacy characterization created an intriguing dimension within the series, offering varied glimpses into the character's intellectual pursuits across different episodes. Such shifts added complexity and curiosity to the portrayal of Wooster, leaving viewers to ponder the intricacies of his persona in the frontier setting. Gene Roddenberry, the creator of Star Trek, once likened his vision for the iconic sci-fi series to a concept he described as wagon train to the stars. Interestingly, Gene L. Kuhn, a key writer for Wagon Train, contributed significantly to 23 episodes of the show. This intriguing link between the Western series and the futuristic Star Trek sheds light on the shared creative minds behind both narratives, showcasing how ideas and inspirations can transcend genres and time periods. The influence of those involved in crafting the journeys of the American frontier echoes into the vastness of space in Roddenberry's imaginative vision. During the first season of the show, a lone harmonica player regularly played the series' theme song during campfire scenes. The background tune shifted by the second season to a trail song with lyrics. It added a unique ambience to the early episodes, setting a distinct mood against the frontier backdrop. However, this practice ceased in later seasons, evolving the main theme of the show. This alteration showcased the series' adaptability and its willingness to explore different musical elements to resonate with its audience. The transition from the orchestrated composition to the trail song marked a notable shift in the show's auditory landscape, underlining its flexibility and presentation across seasons. One of the lesser-known aspects about the series is that Ward Bond, who portrayed Major Seth Adams, had his final acting role in the show. Bond's unexpected passing during the fourth season left the show in an unusual position, as there was no explanation provided for Major Adam's absence within the storyline. This unexpected turn of events marked the end of an era for both the actor and the character, impacting the trajectory of the series. Bond's contribution to the show, both as an actor and a central character, remains a significant part of its history, immortalizing his presence in the realm of classic television. These intriguing facets offer glimpses into the evolution and unforeseen events that shaped the narrative of the series, showcasing its adaptability and the impact of unforeseen circumstances on its trajectory. The harmonica's role in the early seasons and Ward Bond's unexpected departure during the show's run both contribute to the layers of history that define the show's legacy, highlighting the twists and turns encountered in the frontier of television storytelling. As our journey through the trails of television history comes to a pause, it's fascinating to reflect on the enduring allure of a certain captivating series from the mid-20th century. You might have encountered the captivating tales woven within the narrative fabric of a wagon-bound voyage across the vast American frontier. What intrigues me is the way such a show, steeped in the essence of adventure and camaraderie, still resonates with audiences today. It's almost as if the echoes of those wagon wheels still whisper tales of courage, unity, and the ever-evolving human spirit. For those who found solace in the characters' struggles and triumphs, or those who reveled in the landscapes that unfolded week after week, there's a unique connection fostered by such timeless storytelling. Perhaps you recall a particular episode that stirred something within you, or a character whose journey mirrored your own in unexpected ways. It's these personal reflections that add depth to the collective memory of a series like this, making it not just a piece of entertainment, but a cherished part of our own narratives. Your memories, musings, or even reflections on how the series continues to influence contemporary storytelling are welcome additions to this ongoing conversation. Feel free to share your thoughts, for they weave a richer tapestry around the legacy of this iconic show. Thank you for taking the time to delve into this moment of nostalgic contemplation. 
Your interest in the realms of classic television is truly appreciated. Until our paths cross again, may your own adventures be as enthralling as those experienced aboard the wagon train.